okay, should be on us now. Should be, I think. Stay there, huh? Testing. I'll just go down a bit. Okay, so as long as we keep it kind of there. I think we're good. Okay. So, we're gonna take a walk down on the beach. And, uh... Samara. Samara? We're in downtown Samara. And, what are we gonna talk about? The Nicaraguan border run. Because we've had... People asking. Yes, so... Are they gonna be able to still see us when we get in the dark up here? Probably. Kinda? Three weeks oh, ago, okay. we did a border run to Nicaragua our first time. And, uh, we left early. Like, 2.33 o'clock a.m. early. Yeah. We got to the border, I don't know, around 6 o'clock, I guess? Just after I don't remember six. Yes, it was early, yeah. But it was early. It was a couple hours drive for us from here. Yeah, about three hours. Yep. So, um... Number one, first thing. First thing you gotta do. Is go to the little house. That's right. It's, a, it's on the right-hand side as you're coming up before you get to any of the main buildings. It looks like a shack. It's green. I think it might even be wood. And it's kind of a little plaza. I think just kind of parking out the front of it. We walked down to it because we were at the one building first. Well, we didn't know, right? Because we, we went to the one that's building first. That's where you first. go to pay. You go to a little window at this little green shack. And that's where you pay your Costa Rican leaving tax. Which I can't remember how much it Ten was. Bucks. Ten, Ten bucks. Ten bucks each. Each. So 20 bucks for the two of us. American. US, I guess. Yeah. So that's, More Canadian. That's so. numero uno. First thing you do. Don't go to the big buildings. Don't go anywhere, look to your right for a building that looks nothing like something you would think is a government building to, to take your tax. It's like a little green shack, like a little green house. That's where you have to go first to the window. Yes. Pay the girl, she gives you a receipt. Proves that you paid, right? Yep. We, that's not the first thing we did, but we're telling you that's the first thing you need to do. <laughs> yes, you do, that's so the we, first thing you, you need can, to do. You can avoid our mistakes. And uh, the Costa Rican building is, is a, large building with a great big slanted roof that's where you need to go next to get signed out of costa rica yes and then you have to pay another ten dollars did you there too yes and then we had to okay. give the other guy that came and asked her for a dollar that was nicaragua no that was that was actually being okay so that was our exit but then we had to be stamped out they didn't stamp us out at the we had to go to costa rica book building first which is the little house no that's for the taxes we went to the little house first, okay? So we went to the building and we were told that we would, that's not where we were supposed to go first. We had to go back to the little house, which we didn't know about. So we had to go to the little house. We had to pay $10 at the little house and Stephen had to pay $10 at the little house. Yep. We left there, then we went back over to where we first went and were told that we had to go to the little house and we got stamped out right. there. Yes, and that's Costa Rican and that's a great big Oh no, actually no. Oh, so yeah, he ever. looked at our passports. Actually, he looked at our passports. But actually he did not stamp us out there. He told us to go over to the next building. So we went over to the next building, which is the one that's between, it's basically when you walk through to the other side of the building, it takes you over to the Nicaraguan side. So that's where they stamped us out. When Tracy says Nicaraguan, she means Nicaraguan. I know, I can never say Nicaraguan. <laughs> can't I can never say Nicaraguan. <laughs> Nicaragua. I can never say it, so. but anyway. So <laughs> it's one word I can all say, Nicaraguan. Just so you know. But anyway, so, they stamped us out that side there on the Costa Rican side. We had to pay ten dollars each again, and then Stephen had to pay a dollar, and I had to pay a dollar. This guy comes up to you with like a clipboard. I thought that was in Nicaragua, but anyway. no, no, okay. they did it on the other side too. Okay. We did it on both sides. Okay. So, and I'm not even sure what that was for, to be honest with you. But which brings you so, to the point to bring American money, small bills. Always tens, fives, and ones. Yeah. Tens, fives, and ones. Tens and ones is better if you can do it. But you have to go to the bank. You're not going to get it at an ATM. You figure both. 40 bucks minimum. I would say minimum $50 just to be safe in each small bills. in small bills I mean it ended up costing us 10 20 30 for 35 dollars each yes, American cause apparently they will not give change if you no. you got a 10 and it's five you're paying 10 yes that's right so anyway um, so then so when we got over to the main office oh and the other thing actually too okay so before you go in there actually before you go in there there's a little building outside on the right hand side you have to go there first to show them your QR code. Don't ask me why, I have no idea, but they wanted to see our QR code there. There's like a person in a white he's, lab coat he's, and everything. He's, he's like actually like a doctor. He's well, no, he this, takes... is, this is on the Costa Rican side. That yes. wasn't when we got yeah. over to the no, other that's side. Right. But so... that's what he does. He, he, they, they check. There they're was the a woman ones... there. It was a girl. Yes, like, they're that the ones one, that, that check, check your, your uh, negative COVID test. So I'm not even sure why they wanted to see that. But anyway, they wanted to see it. So we had to show them our QR code. So then we went over to the immigration building. Nicaragua. And Nicaragua. And it's 
farther away. It's right next to the building where we had to show our QR code. The little building and then we had to walk yeah, up two, into the big but building. The two buildings are a fair distance apart. Yes, but we're not there now. We're in the second building, right? Yes. We're not in the first, we're still okay. in the second building, okay. right? So anyway, I'm sorry if you're getting confused. Two, the two largest buildings are the two buildings you need. The only the only little green shack you're looking for is where you pay your tax on the Costa Rican side. Other than that, you'll see two main sized buildings. One's Costa Rican. That's not the only Nicaragua. way you pay you pay money though. You pay money at the I little didn't say house. That. You, I didn't say just... that's the only place you pay. I'm just saying that that's you gotta go there first and that's the only building that doesn't look like an official like building. A yes, big no, building. you didn't say that the first time around. No, we said it looks like a little house. That's what it looks like, it's a little house. It literally looks like a freaking like a shack. Like it literally looks like a shack. So then I get anyway, now we're getting backtracked again. So when you go back over to the main building, like I said, there's another little building there. You have to go in there and show me well you don't go in actually there's a window. You'll see them wearing like white lab coats. We didn't know that. We were told we had to go back out there first. So we had to go back and show them a QR codes. Did that. Then we went back into the big building. Actually, the play, the guy that we had was really nice. He was like really, really nice. Once again, everybody was good. Yes, they were. They were like, really, really good. We had no problems with anyone. So anyway, we paid the $10 and then the guy came walking up with a clipboard and he's like, oh, uh, you know, you wanted to work because I'm we're saying to the guy, what are we giving him a dollar for? But yeah, I don't think he really understood what we were saying. And we're not sure why we give him a dollar. You just do and they give you a receipt. You end up with about five or four or five little wee receipts for everything. <laughs> oh my God. So anyway, so we did that. So anyway, so what happened with us was we ended up the guy that was the immigration officer. He took us through to the other side, like he took us through. We didn't go out and around the building. He actually took us through the building. So we get through the building and they, he takes us to a, one of the other offices on the other side, which is for the Nicaraguan side, Nicaragua side, right? So anyway, we're there and he's like, okay, thank you, blah, blah. So thank you, blah, blah. So anyway, she takes our passports and everything. She ends up stamping our passports. We pay her $10. Another guy comes wanting a dollar, another American dollar from us. We give him an American dollar. And then we think, okay, we're good. Off we go, don't we? Yes, we, we were, leave the we building. Were headed, we were headed into Nicaragua to look at, look, we wanted to look for hammocks and we wanted to go duty free. And what happened? It turned out that we'd been stamped in and stamped out at the same time in the building, we didn't realize it. So when we got, we had border patrol security come up to us we were just going to go across and we could see vendors. It was really early in the morning, but we could see vendors. We thought we we're going to go do some shopping. Well, they wouldn't let us into Nicaragua because we'd already been stamped out. <laughs> this so whole we, this whole process took all like the actual process took all of about what half an hour maybe. Not even, I don't think. Because I think what happened was the, the first uh, the guy we had first. He thought that we were that we kind of insinuated we were just going across and coming back, but we wanted to do some shopping. We right? told him that yeah. too. We so, said we wanted to do some he, shopping. He misinterpreted us once again. The language barrier, yes. and he took us over and got us, we got stamped in and out all at the same time in the same building. <laughs> but going early is an excellent idea. So we never actually got into Nicaragua. We actually never got in there actually. So we no. ended up when we got to, no. so when you get out of the building and you walk out, it's a bit of a walk. Sorry, I don't wanna get my shoes back. And you'll see there's like a, there's like a box there. And basically you have to, uh, so there's like, you'll see there's like guards and everything there. And again, there's another guy in a white coat and he wanted to see our QR codes, which you showed him on our phone. And anyway, then they, they told us we couldn't go in. And we was like, what do you mean we can't go in? And they're like, no, no, you already, you've already been. And we're like, we have? <laughs> yeah, so they wouldn't let us into the country because we basically, as far as they were concerned on paper, we'd already been into the country and back out of the country, yeah. even though we didn't even leave the building. We've been stamped out. Which we didn't know. Which we did not know. So we never got there in the first place. But on the good, on the, on the good side, we got there and back within less than half an hour like literally now we're glad that we went early because when we, when we came back and like i said this is all within like half an hour you should have seen the buses coming the yes. buses showing up yes oh my god and we got stuck in one lineup with one bus just with the one bus yes but it was Here, pretty but one. it was pretty fast wasn't it? It was pretty. It was pretty quick. Still oh no, no, yeah, up. they got you through pretty quick coming back over the Costa Rica. But side, the yes. amount yep. of buses that were showing up, and this was, uh, yes. I would say, by this time around 7 a.m. I guess so. But we, about 7 we you want it, you want it, if you can get there it's early. At, what time do they say they open that though? They six. do have a, they do have an open and closing. I believe they're not six, open like 24 hours a day. 6 a.m. I think it's 6 a.m. They close at 10. Yeah, they were open when we got there anyway. But yeah, so um, so anyway, so anyway, so we get there to get stamped back into Costa Rica. This is no word of a lie. So the girl says to me. Oh, where, where are you going? Where are you staying? We said, oh, um, Samra, well, actually, Santo Domingo. She goes, oh, I know that. I know that area. I was like, oh, cool. 
So then she asks me. Because we, we have no address. Well, not physical. No, like, like you yeah. can't tell them. Yeah, we live at 15 Smith Street, or yeah. it doesn't work that way here. So she, yeah, she asked Tracy uh, how you get to like our house or to Santa Domingo, basically from, from Samara. Samara. The directions, and then she said so in, in case, Spanish. Yeah. She said in Spanish. I'm like, what? <laughs> and she was just kidding. Thank God. But yes. anyway, yeah, she, she, she literally. That's what she asked me. She said, okay, I want. She said, I want you to give me the directions. Yes. She didn't say can you. She said, I want you to give me the directions. Yes from Samara basically, to Santa Domingo. Basically to prove that that is where we live, that we knew how to get, because it's <laughs> not something that a lot of people in Samara tourists in that don't know how to get to Santa Domingo, so. So yeah, I was like, holy crap. But yeah, that's what she asked us. I was like, holy shit. So anyway, yes, you need to fill out a form. You need to fill out a form online for permission to enter Nicar Nicaragua, right? And you need to fill that form and send it off seven days before you're doing your border run. I am going to leave a link in the description below so people can follow that link and go to it and just fill it in, um, send it off in the email. And like I said, I got a reply back the very, I think it was actually that night, actually. I think I got a reply back yeah, saying that so. we had permission, both of us had had permission to enter the country. Yeah. So if anybody says no, don't do it, you have to do it. Well, just do it anyway. So, yeah, like do it. Just do it. Save yourself the hassle at the border. Exactly. So basically, when you get to Nicaragua, the border, Look for the little place on the right, go pay your exit stamp, um, leave there, go to the big main building, go into the, well actually sorry, go to the little building before the main building on the right hand side. You can't miss it because when you're walking up to the main building, on the sidewalk there's a little hook, like a little building here. And that's where you've got to show them your QR code. Go there, show them your QR code, then go into the building, go wait till you see an officer pay you the $10 to the exit fee, then pay the dollar to the guy that'll come up with the clipboard, go around to the other side, because that's basically exiting you out of Nicaragua, and then just go out and head over to Nicaragua. When you come back, then you go to the other side where they took us by accident yeah, and stamped us, us out. He took us right through the middle of the building, like yes. escorted us to the other side where you get stamped back out of Nicaragua. Yes. With, uh, unbeknownst to us, we, we didn't realize that's what, that's what was happening. So you now you get to know, you learn by how you can, you, you, you we're telling you this so you don't do the same mistake that we did. All I right. know another thing, parking. Parking, there's basically, there's spots to park. There was a little kind of parking lot off the right. You could park there. There was a, a link. But another thing that was nice, we were there super early. Lots of spots. There's no, there's kind of no, no parking zones marked. You can park kind of anywhere you want to. Yes. Like that's obviously you're out of the way and park the, off to the side. The one other thing I will tell you is that when we were, um, when we were, so actually, when we got stamped back into Costa Rica and that we had already got our car parked over on the other side of the building and there was um, some Ticos there and the car had broken down and as soon as they saw us come out he comes up to us he goes oh uh, you give me um, 10,000 colonies I watch your car for you I watch your car for you I was not, like not watched it watched it watched it yeah like watched your car I don't think so yeah no we know that scam so, so we said now we're good <laughs> said no you weren't watching the car and besides we weren't even the build we weren't even in the building more than 10 minutes so that's another thing I'm going to tell you right now when you have your car parked there you're going to have the locals come up and they're going to be wanting money it's because they're going to say that they washed your car I'm saying washed not washed I'm yes. saying washed yes but anyway, um, yeah. Keep an eye on it for you, uh, unbeknownst to you, and it doesn't really need its eye. Like there's security everywhere. There's actually yeah. kind of almost kind of military, almost you know, to have yeah. guys mm -hmm, there. Mm -hmm. And actually, they were very helpful. The police helped us out too. And so, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, we yeah. did. We because yeah. we weren't sure where to go at first when we got there. Yeah. So we went over to the police, and yeah, they were all, even when we were driving down towards the border, and um, there's like a I don't even know what you call it where they had all the cops. Remember all the cops were all sat there and we yeah, had to pull they have, over? They have areas that the police saw. I think they're little police stations or whatever. And they do like they kind were of so spot nice checks and out helpful. the front of them. Yeah. They were really yes, nice and helpful. They always have been good to us, always. But yeah, we never had any issues, never had any problems or anything like so. Okay, so try and get there early AM. That's the number one tip. Okay, get there as early as you can. Number two, when you get there, look for the little building as you're driving in on the right hand side. And I but is it got a green or a red roof? I can't remember color roof, but the building's green. And like I say, it looks nothing like an official building you would think would be like a government building. It's got a little window and it's a little green shack. Even the guys in the building told us, go across to the green shack, like the little the little green house. So yeah. look for a place that looks like a little greenhouse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of in like a little plaza kind of the right hand side. Yeah. 
So then once you've done that, it's then you're going to get in the car, you're going to get in the car, and you're going to drive over to the big main building. So there's one big building, and then you go past that building, and you go to the next building, the second one over. And these that's, are big, these are big structures, they look official, like. So that's the one, and it says Immigration on the front of it that's the one you go to so you can there's places to park so you can park up there in front and then like i said the little building on the right hand side as you go into the sidewalk you'll see it stop there first show them your qr code then go over to the immigration go in there wait for your turn they stamp you out leave the building then drive around park on the other side and then you walk you walk over and then you see the guards are there, they want to see your passports, there's a guy there with a white coat, wants to see your QR code, show them all those. Now, had we not been stamped out, we could have just walked right over, but we, did, we got stamped out and we didn't even know. So then when you come back, you go to the, the building where you've got your, your car parked, you walk into there, you get stamped out, and then you get back in your car, you drive around, to the um, other, the first building, the first big building, as you get into Costa Rica uh, at the border, and that's where you get stamped out, yes. right? Yes, and it turned out that uh, duty free wasn't open anyway, so we didn't miss out anything there. No. As far as getting a hammock, I guess next time we go, we'll check in to see it because apparently you can well, get. Well, next time we know not to get stamped get, out. When you can get, get beautiful in. hammocks; they're um, very cheap, apparently. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like really, really good quality ones. Yeah. You see them selling them here in Costa Rica mm -hmm. and Samar and they're nice, but they're uh, nothing like the Nicaraguan hammocks. Yeah, we were really they're hoping beautiful. to grab a couple because we wanted for the casitas when we built the casitas, right? So we got, hopefully we start, by the end of February, we're hoping to get the start on the casitas in the pool. So fingers crossed. We had the surveyor out today. The surveyor came out today. Yeah, the Issei out today. Uh, the Issei out today. The electrical the company. The electrical company came out and got our, us all hooked up with all the electrical yeah, and everything. Moved our meter. Moved our meter. Had all, the surveyors all, there. All the amps all up now big time. So and that's had great. The boys and then we had the, the survey the here. Oh, it's just been crazy. It's been a crazy day. <laughs> Everybody well, actually, came the same This week day. has been crazy. Mm -hmm. This week has and been crazy. And I've had a sore crazy. back, so I've been kind of down and out. Yes, but so. I've been feeling that great. But. So we're hoping by the time we get to August anyway, that the casitas will be done. Um, so any questions about the Nicaraguan run? Yes, any oh, questions? Oh, and to be honest with you, in the Panama runs too, if you have, because we've done yeah. a land border crossing, so ask us and if we can... Oh, well, yeah, we've, we, done, we've done, we've done, we've done yeah, Panama so twice. If we can, so if we can help you, we certainly will. Yeah, I mean, sometimes sure. things change too. It can, mm -hmm. At any time, things can change, but yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah. yeah, like I said, just any leave, questions... Leave a comment or just ask yeah, us. Yeah, just leave a comment in the description below, and I said we'll do our best to answer anything that we can, that yep. we know. Yep. And, if and we don't know, then we, we won't. We won't. Try, not, try not to be uh, uh, afraid and listen to what everybody, or I say everybody, a lot of people say on Facebook, Facebook and different social media about about the border crossings. If the, if we we we'd be so uh, paranoid and afraid every time we went when we've experienced nothing. I'm not saying people haven't experienced bad things, maybe or had a hard time, but we have not, have we? We have not. So if you listen and you're uptight and anxious about that, I would not be be uh, be be polite. Uh, patient with the people yeah, there. That's Do the not thing. cop yeah. an attitude with them. It's, it won't help you. Nope. Nothing will get done any faster. Nope. And <laughs> Tr that's the other trust thing. Us. <laughs> we say this that we say this over and over again, and I honestly cannot say this enough times. If you do not have patience, don't come to Costa Rica. Honestly, do not come to Costa Rica. Be you, patient and friendly. Yes. And, and it, it'll pay off. Yep. Because I'm telling you, when they say they're going to do something at a certain time, it never happens. Never happens. So, yeah. like I said, just be patient. Pura Vida, you know, like it's all good. I mean, how many times have we had told, been told, oh yeah, we're going to do this at such and such a time, and it's never happened. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Don't. But yeah. we don't sweat it. You know, going, don't. going to get in the bank is is guaranteed an hour at least, usually longer. That's only to see the cashier. If you, you got an appointment, if, get, if you've yeah. got an appointment with someone, you can be waiting four or five hours. Yes, that's not uncommon at all. And that's very common here. We know that because we've done it multiple times now, and it's yep. always been four or five hours. Yep. And that's just get waiting to get in. To see yep. somebody so just like i said be prepared and bring your patience with you so anyway guys you got you asked us about that so here you go we've filled you in so like you, i you said you come here to be laid back you gotta be laid back mm -hmm. we always tell people too you know like we always we, we remind ourselves where we are right with things frustrate us sometimes you didn't, you didn't we didn't come here for it to be like canada and we and if we get frustrated what do we say pura vida and i don't know we remind ourselves of where we are. Oh yeah, no, we know. Yeah, no, no right. we've been here long enough now, and we involved ourselves in enough business and that. We know how it is, and it, it, it gets you. There's no point in getting copying an attitude or pushing somebody because, believe me, it will get you nowhere. 
we're still hoping to get to Vietnam. We want to do a trip. We were hoping to get to Vietnam last year in June, but because of the borders and everything closed down, it's like, ah. So we're still hoping to do that, aren't we? Like get to Vietnam. Yeah, that would be cool like, for that's sure. one thing we want to do is go over to Vietnam we'll and do a more business trip to do over here there, too, but we've got so. more things to get done here for us. So maybe next fall, we'll see. It all depends what goes on with this COVID and everything. Sorry, but I keep yawning. We really, really want to You're go not to... boring me, I'm boring myself. <laughs> yeah, but we really want to go to Vietnam. So fingers crossed we can get to do that this year. So, and do a trip over there. So that would be awesome, wouldn't it? Yes. Anyway, guys. Yes. Um, like okay. I said, thanks for watching. And happy have... New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happiest of, thanks for happiest following of, us. Happiest of happiest of New Year's, and hopefully this year gets better for everybody. Thanks for following us over the last ten months. We really appreciate it. Please, please, if you have not subscribed, will you please subscribe? It would make a great, 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 great appreciation and difference if you did subscribe, right? Because if we don't subscribe, I'm not sure that made sense, but you know what we mean. Anyway. Steve's just being an ass, like he's good at being, he's, he's good at being an ass. Anyway, yes, if you don't have a subscribe, please subscribe, okay? Like, yes. we really, really would appreciate it if you subscribe. Yeah. Um, hit the notification bell, yes. that'll let you know when we post new videos. Yes. Like, like, yes. up yours. Like, yes. like, like, um, yes. the videos if you enjoyed it, okay? And I don't know what we got next. What have we got coming next? I don't know. I can't remember. Something. There'll be something coming. Oh yeah, there'll be something. I don't know. We, we got wanna... more. We say we still have beaches. The, the problem is we we're kind of we're not stuck at home, but we ha obviously have to kind of hang out at the Casa area because there's work being done and there are decisions to be made about what we're building. And yeah, we've got blah, a lot blah, going blah. on right now. So, but uh, we were certainly uh, be tripping out again, and we will certainly. Well, include you. hoping this week. Oh, and then we just had the car in too. We had the car and have a little bit of work done yes, to it too. So tie rod wanna, end on the car. We didn't want to be driving too far in it, so we decided. No. Because we were going to make a couple of trips this week to some other beaches, but because of the car, we decided not. We'd stay close to home. Yes. And the roads here are not like you're making a trip somewhere that's nice and smooth and you got quite a bit of dirt road and some yeah. rough stuff and four wheel driving. Mm -hmm. so. so, anyway, guys, we've been yakking for like almost 23 minutes. So, anyway, again, yeah. Happy New Year, and I hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic 2022, and we shall see you soon. Yes. Okay, so thanks for watching. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Ciao. Or <laughs> should say, ciao, ciao.